So this is on trail day number 122. It's Sunday, November 1st of 2020. I stayed last night here at the Bear Fence Hut. I didn't stay in the hut. I put my hammock up over there. It uh, started raining about 6.30 this morning, just like the weather said, and it stopped around 11. Just about to like the weather said. It's been right to do this time. Uh, so it's 11.30. I wiped my tarp down with a towel. It's been air drying in the, in the wind, so it should be pretty dry. About to go take that down. I got most everything else packed up, ready to go. I uh, was going to try to do 20 miles today, but due to the hold up of the rain, I'm just going to do 11. So I won't get out of the park today. Uh, we'll get out of the park tomorrow, but it looks like the sky is clearing, so hopefully we can get a view or two along the way. So I'm back at the trail. That's going north. To get to the Bear Fence Shelter, there's a parking area. And then you have to go through the chain gate, down just a little ways and take a right. It's not too far. That's right off of Skyland Drive. Uh, it's a little bit after 12, and time changed, I do believe, last night, so I haven't had any cell service since yesterday. Once I get to a point today where I have cell service, I might lose an hour, or gain an hour. I'm not sure what time it'll get dark, but either way, we're putting some miles in, and we're not being ringed on while we do it. It didn't, it wasn't a hard rain, but it was kind of windy at times. We got like 50 miles before we go to the Stanimal Hostel in Waynesboro. So we'll have 40 after today. Hopefully tomorrow is going to be good weather. And we can put in a day or two of good miles and get there. There's only one, no way stations today. There's one tomorrow. I'm not sure how far off the trail it is, but I may or may not stop. I think I have plenty of food to get me to town. I have two breakfasts, two dinners, some snacks, some tuna packets, random stuff I can supplement, so I think we'll be good. Run out of food, the pack will be lighter, and we'll be able to get there faster, right? <laughs> the roof of the shelter, but no leaves. See it down there? So there's the Lewis Mountain Campground down there. We're like almost a mile and a half south of the Bear Fence Hut. I got a uh, cell reception. Check the weather for the night. I use the Appalachian Trail weather app, I shutter. We'll 
is that the shelter I'm going to tonight is supposed to be a low of 28 degrees. Winds around 25 miles an hour with a gust up to 40 miles an hour. We're going to be cold. I have a, a pair of fingerless mittens. They're fingerless like these, but then they have a mitten flap. And they do pretty good. But I was thinking I need to get like a pair of thin wool gloves or something to wear under these. Or at the shelter. I found a pair of wool hunting gloves. That looked fairly new. I'm gonna try those out. See which one works better. Again, the trail will provide. I had a little hill climb from the shelter but up to the campground, but after that it kind of leveled out. So. I don't know if my watch time changed last night or if it still needs to. It says it's 12.45, so... But if it gets dark before we get to camp, it won't be dark for very long, so... Every day gets shorter anyway. from now until December 21st, anyway. So this is the most technical I've seen so far in Virginia. This is the way we're going. Not really technical, but... I like how they have a switch back. Well, we got about nine miles left and it's just 1.30. So, a 20 mile day would have definitely been doable if it had not rained all morning. So I got <clears throat> 5.3 miles to go. It's almost 3.15. I checked the uh, sunset a little after five, so my watch and everything must have done this time jump in the middle of the night. We still have 1,400 foot of ascent. I'm going down the hill right now. And then I have a little climb on the downhill to the shelter. It's already getting super windy. So I'll we'll probably be getting to the shelter just as sunset. So in typical fashion in the mountains. Uh, where the winds are really pick up from the sun fest. So it looks like we're in for a nice afternoon. Yeah. The terrain's been really good. If I'd have gotten started early this morning. Definitely done the 20 miles. Oh well. 
at least enjoyed the day and didn't have to hike in the rain. So I know between here and Georgia I'm going to have to hike in the rain probably several times. We've got just a touch over two miles to get to the shelter. 520. 420, sorry. Got to go over High Top Mountain. Which, if I had to guess, is that mountain right there. 900 foot. The climb up to this part. It was a pretty good climb. Uh, I wasn't breathing heavy, but it got the heart rate into the 140s. The calf muscles, muscles are starting to burn just a little bit. So if we do get to go over this one in front of us, it's going to be a decent one too. can't be all a nice smooth walk in the park, right? But there's limbs and deadfalls. Probably a lot of these deadfalls fell last night because I haven't really seen deadfalls until today. I've seen a bunch of limbs, mostly like little bitty ones like this one, just come flying out into the trail. This one's been here a while, but I guess since you can walk under it, they haven't bothered with it. Uh, yeah, so far the wind has stayed like tree canopy and not been too much at the ground level. Stayed fairly warm. Well, we're almost to the shelter. I don't know if there'll be anybody there or not. There was let's see ten ten people at the shelter last night, so who knows? I've seen more people at the shelters every night in the Shenandoah than I have the entire trail. This is the top of High Top Mountain. The sun almost ready to set. It's super windy and a little overgrown for a sunset. I've got 0.7 miles to go. To the shelter. There may be a better, <coughs> better view spot here in a minute. If there is, we'll check it out. Here's a better view spot.
sunset, but it's a little too cold and windy to hang out here and wait on it. Woo! So coming up the mountain there, it wasn't that windy. I said to myself, watch it be, the shelter's on the windy side. Depending, I may stay in the shelter. Hanging in the trees may not be a good idea. 40 mile an hour winds. I'm getting pretty close to the shelter. I can see a glowing of a fire out through the trees, so I know there's people there. So we'll call this day done. And I'll try to check the shelter out in the morning. Hopefully it won't freeze to death overnight. I won't freeze to death, I'm joking. I hadn't figured out yet where I'm going tomorrow, how many miles, so I'll work on that tonight and hopefully after tonight it'll start to warm up some.